I don't know how well you know the makeup of this Jets team now. I know covering them for a long, long time in the New York media. But you bring in Aaron Rodgers Mm -hmm. and you got a young team. Expectation level is really high. So they're not a curiosity, cute story. Now it's your playoffs and, you know, maybe deep in. How does hard knocks affect that? I always feel like teams are overreacting when they don't want to do hard knocks. Because I've been to training camps where there's been hard knocks and, and there's more cameras, right? Like, but it's not, they're not like, there's not a camera right over you as you're trying to catch the ball in practice. You know what I mean? Like it's, I don't think it's as big a deal. I think, I think it's about teams and, you know, coaches and front offices wanting to sort of control the flow of news, right? Which, you know, and now you're like, well, we have cameras here. Something might get out that we otherwise might not have wanted to, even though they, I'm sure they have total approval. They do. Them, right? They have total control. So I just think it's a matter of this is, this is one other thing we don't want to have to deal with. It takes away time from what, but I, I don't, I do not believe it matters that much. Uh, the Lions last year went all in. I mean, you could tell they were loving every second of it, and they had. But a nice, that's the coach who nice embraced year. it. Yes, I mean that's the difference. But that's a difference. And of, they didn't have a star player like Aaron Rodgers, right? Who might go, nah. Who, by the way, uh, is liable to maybe say something non-football related that makes news, right? Yeah. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I think that's that is that is a little bit of a concern for them. I don't know that it needs to be. The Lions had a fine season last year. I mean, they, they were this close to making the playoffs. I, I don't think there's a correlation between doing hard knocks and having a disappointing season. I, I think the Jets will be fine if that's how it ends up. Are you all in on the Jets here? <sighs> the Jets have decided that they were Aaron Rodgers away from being a Super Bowl contending team, right? They went 7-10 seven, seven and 10 last year with – quarterback play that was not just bad was actively harmful to their chances of winning the games right so if you have a guy who's just competent you could see getting to nine ten wins if you have Aaron Rodgers playing at the MVP level he was at two three years ago you could see getting to 13 wins right so uh I think my question is are they right are they right about how good their roster already was absent Aaron Rodgers or, or a competent quarterback uh, the tackle situation is a little bit concerning because they're counting on guys that haven't been available. Mekhi Becton was a top 10 pick. If he plays like that, they're probably going to be great. But he's only played one game the last two years. Yeah. So uh, that there are question marks about it. And Rodgers is 39. Like, it's not, you know, he, he shows up to OTAs and he pulls a calf muscle on the first day. I don't think that's going to continue to bother him into the season, but it's an alarm bell. Right? Like, it reminds you that the guy we just brought in is not 25 years old. Like, he might be more liable to get hurt. We might have to be more careful with him. So, all in, in that conference, in that division, I can't get all the way there on the Jets. But I do do expect them to be a good team. It's weird that I thought that they overachieved while underachieving greatly at the quarterbacking position. Yeah. Like, I thought that they they weren't a seven-win team, but they won seven games. And they did that in spite of their quarterback. But I thought the other players sort of overachieved just a little bit. So it was a weird feeling that yeah. I had with them. Not that, man, imagine if they had a you know a competent quarterback. I, I mean, they may be a 10-win team here. They may be. I mean, they, they may also, like, everything breaks right, and he plays out of his mind, and Becton plays 17 games and looks like a top-10 pick. Yeah. You know, they have the offensive rookie of the year. They have the defensive rookie of the year. They get Quinn and Williams' contract figured out. I mean, their defense does look really good, so there's reason to be optimistic. I just think that the AFC is just going to be, you know, like a knife fight. Like, I mean, there's so many good teams. There's so many great quarterbacks. Like, I, I just don't know that in the AFC East that, that that's going to produce a 12-13 win team, given how good everybody is. 